I grew up in a small town in Northwest Wisconsin of about 2,000 people called St. Croix Falls. It's a beautiful little town on the river that is just tiny. I grew up in a very competitive family that is obsessed with sports. The weird part is, is that volleyball wasn't a sport we were obsessed with until my sister kind of got into playing in middle school and I wouldn't be here without my sister in terms of just getting me to find volleyball and getting me to find that passion and because it ended up changing her life and changing my life. A coach doesn't take this job if they're not excited about doing things for the first time. Stumbler out of system for the championship. Winning the national championship at Kentucky is obviously my proudest professional achievement to date. Before we had won it, um, my boss would mention, you know, once in a while, how no SEC team has ever won it, and we want to be the first. And I never really found that as motivation until we won it. And now since we've won it, the thing I'm most proud of is being the first SEC team to ever win a national championship. And one of my career goals since I've been in the SEC for 13 years and now for the foreseeable future is to make the SEC the best conference in college volleyball. And I think Vanderbilt has to be a successful program for that to happen. It's really important to me when I'm hiring, well anybody, but specifically head coaches that you embrace who we are, not as um, a challenge, but as a unique opportunity. And when we think about starting a new program in a very competitive field, very popular, well, that's a big undertaking. And it comes, with, it comes with challenges, it comes with obstacles, but we have the courage to take them on. There's a lot of people out there who I think would much rather take a job where the, you know, the path has been paved and it's smooth and you can already see the success. At a job like this, you have to kind of visualize the success and create the success. Vanderbilt is a first time head coach's dream. I think when you're at a place like this, where the motto is dare to grow, and it's so integrated in everything we do, that that's just the perfect fit for where we want this program to go. And even if we don't start at maybe the level of success that we all expect, we're gonna grow to that point. My mom did send me a, a text after I told her I was gonna accept a job that said dreams come true. I believe she also made it her Facebook status. Her main point there was that I had been saying since I was a seventh or eighth grader that I wanted to be a head, head volleyball coach someday. And so it is a dream come true and it's a dream come true for my parents as well. And I wish I could have gone to a place like Vanderbilt and played college athletics because I just see how much this offers athletes and how much it offers everyone who's a part of it.